Are you tired of uploading onto YouTube only to get little to no views, barely any engagement after spending hours and hours on your videos to the point you just want to break your laptop to the point where you don't even want to look at yourself because every time you upload a video and you don't get any views, you just feel dumb. It's embarrassing. To the point you're ranting to your stuffed animals about how much pain you're going through because no one gets it. No one gets what it feels like being a small YouTuber. Well, look no further because guess who's here to save the day? Yes, me. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deal with slow growth and be unbothered by that shit because you're 100% that bitch. And it's time to own it because as soon as you shift your attitude and grab your emotions by the balls is as soon as you can shift your channel and start growing it the way that you want it. So let's get into it. Hi lovely, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Malaysia, your favorite YouTube princess, multi-passionate boss babe, and YouTube coach. And over here on this channel, I teach you guys the mindset it takes to thrive on YouTube and unapologetically believe, build, and achieve the life that you want for yourself. I'm actually curious, so the question of the day is, I don't know what cocaine I was doing when I filmed this video, uh, but um, I just wanna put a disclaimer out there that I'm aware that my hairline looks a hot mess and there's a very clear explanation for that i burnt my forehead like curling my wig so i thought why not just bring the hairline all the way down here to cover it because no one's gonna notice right like who's gonna notice so just ignore that i'm aware of how crazy i look um and I was gonna delete the video, but I decided to re-upload it because it's honestly one of my favorite videos and super, super, super informative. So just ignore the fact that my hairline is literally near my eyebrows. Thank you. The life that you wanna live, how does that look? What are you doing? What are you wearing? Drop that in the comments so I can better guide you with creating it. I'll also be dropping mine below. It's a little bit bougie, but you know, I'm being a YouTube princess. Like, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. <sighs> I love that song. I love that song so much, I can't stop playing it. I'm like, sometimes in the mirror, I'm like dancing to it, like, ooh, na, 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 na. Ooh, it's a vibe. For today's video, I wanna help normalize and ensure you that it is okay to have slow growth and what to do about that slow growth on your YouTube channel. Whether you're just starting out or you have started, you have gotten that traffic and now it's slowed down again, I wanna share with you how to deal with that, how to not let it bother you, how to be 100% that bitch even if people aren't watching. So eventually that growth on your YouTube channel does pick back up. Something you want to remind yourself of if you're struggling with slow growth on your YouTube channel is to understand that it is normal. It's okay if you have slow growth on your YouTube channel. That usually is the case for everyone. We just live in a society where everybody wants the biggest thing in the quickest way possible. And in most cases, it just isn't how it works. As unsexy as that sounds, I'm gonna tell you how it is. But yeah, some people are the exception. There are some people that grow their channels within a month. There are people that grow their channel to a million subscribers within a year. People blow up all the time, but that usually is like 2% of people that are on YouTube. So why get pissed off if you're not that 2%? Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, oh, I'm a little bit pissed off, but I'm not that 2%. But don't beat yourself up because you're not that 2%. It doesn't mean that you're not gonna be successful. It doesn't mean that you're unlucky. It doesn't mean that the algorithm hates you. It just means that your time hasn't come yet and you just have to work for it a little bit longer, uh, maybe a lot longer. You just need to keep working or re-strategize and pivot to see greater results. Pause, if you're liking this video, make sure to smack that like button and subscribe and make sure to tap that post notification button so you do not miss out on my weekly videos helping you to believe, build, and achieve the life that you want. Do these videos that help you to thrive on YouTube. Also, if you look in the description, there's more links to like more ways we can connect even more. Another thing that will help you with your slow growth on YouTube is to remember that the people that you're comparing yourself to, you know, the 2%, these people who are growing your channel super fast, like you wanna grow your channel super fast, you don't know their whole story. For an example, Erin On Demand, she grew her channel to over 100,000 subscribers within a year. But what she shared in a YouTube video recently that a lot of people don't know is that she had years of previous experience being in front of a camera. She actually won an international video contest and ended up having her own show in front of the camera. So when she hopped onto YouTube, she hopped onto YouTube, not necessarily starting from scratch, but she hopped on YouTube with years of skills and experience and that contributed to her faster path to success. You know, looking as an outsider, as a subscriber, as a viewer, you wouldn't know that unless you were to tell you that. So imagine if someone was out there looking at her channel like, oh my God, like I just don't understand. Like why can't I have 100,000 subscribers in one year? She did it, why can't I do it? I suck, Ugh. And you continually beat yourself up not knowing that. Literally, you are starting from scratch. You don't know. 
that person, this person's story, and what skills or what factors contributed to their success. Yes, definitely look into it, study it, you know, see what you can implement into your own channel, but you just don't know the whole story. Like you never know, a person could be friends with a big YouTuber, that big YouTuber tweets their video and they can easily get 10,000 subscribers within a day. And then you're beating yourself up because Tom, Susie, Paul, Jacob the third has 10,000 subscribers within a month and you're still at two. But Tom, Susie, Paul, Jacob the third, if I'm saying that correctly, he didn't start from scratch, but you would never know. Did you see that tweet at 3.33 a.m. that he made about how amazing his friend's video is? No. Another factor that a lot of people don't see is that a lot of the time, people will migrate an audience that they already previously have onto YouTube. A great example of this is all the Viners. You know, once Vine shut down, a lot of Viners migrated to YouTubers and now they're like some of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. But they didn't start from scratch. Mind you, you don't have to be a Megatron, Vine star, Tik talk legend, Instagram model. Like you can just simply have an audience of 10,000 people listening to your podcast. Tell them that you're starting a YouTube channel. So as soon as you start a YouTube channel, boom, you're at a thousand subscribers within a week. Like you wouldn't know, you would have no idea where that traffic came from. So instead of focusing on how fast ever people are growing, leading into the third way to deal with slow growth is not to blame anything. Instead of looking outside, look inside. What can you do to grow your YouTube channel? What is something that you're not doing that you could possibly do to make a difference? I know when it comes to like little things you would think, oh, well, that clearly is just so little. Like, how can that possibly be what gets my channel going? But that could be exactly what gets your channel going. It could be something as small as your thumbnails need a little bit of work. It could be simple as rephrasing your titles and front loading highly searched low competition keywords. It could simply just be that your description needs to be optimized. It could be that you need to work on your intro. It could be that you're misaligned from the niche that you're doing. You're not actually in it mentally and your audience can see that and maybe it's time to shift the niche. Like there's so many things that you can look within to fix your YouTube channel. Looking outside is not gonna help you. It puts you in victim mode. You know, being like, oh, well, ugh, the algorithm hates me. And if it's up to the algorithm, like there's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is like post, it's outside of my control. Like what is that gonna do? Nothing. So you gotta look within. Even if your channel is the bombdiggiest.com, I bet you I can find something that you need to work on. I'm a YouTube coach and I know I still have things to work on. There's a never ending list of things to work on. Um, and it's best not to get too deep into it to the point of like you're perfecting it so much you don't even want to do it at all. But just look at what things you can tweak. Don't have the time to be putting in that extra work into your YouTube channel. What can you outsource? What are you willing to outsource? I sometimes outsource my video editing because sometimes I just don't have time to video edit. And I have someone do the basic edits and then they send it back to me and I do the fun edits. Like this. What skills do you need to work on? What things can you invest in to help you improve those skills? Because honestly, these are the questions you should be asking yourself. I've invested in multiple YouTube courses. Me personally, I am taking every single course that is out there on YouTube because as a YouTube coach, I need to make sure that I know every single thing there is to know. Like I know a lot, but no expert knows all, but I wanna know all the things that are in the market. So when I do release my own course, it has everything and then some more. Not just through what I've learned and what I've invested in, but also through my own research and with my special chocolate touch. But experiment, see what works for you. Don't give up and you cannot possibly fail. You can pivot, you can re-strategize. Heck, you may even change your goal, but don't quit on what you truly want because you can have it. I don't care who says what, you can have it. There's a reason why you want it. Stop blaming and start taking accountability to what you can do instead of looking at what other things are getting in the way of what you're trying to do. All right, before I go, I wanna do a quick brief of all of the pointers, all the ways to help you deal with slow growth on your YouTube channel. And I'm gonna just list them down and screenshot this for later. Favorite it in your album and pull out that screenshot and remind yourself that it's normal and it's okay for your channel to have slow growth in the beginning or randomly. It's impossible to always be 24 seven relevant and it's okay if you're not. Just because your channel growth is slow right now does not mean that you won't have your time to shine or have your time to shine again if you already had your time to shine. The people that you're comparing yourself to that are growing their channels fast, you do not know the full story behind how they grew their channel so fast. So instead of comparing, leading into my third way to deal with slow growth, look within. Don't blame anyone. Don't even blame yourself. Start looking at what you can do. 
what can you do? Actually look at the facts. If you need help seeing those facts, because most times when it's something important to us, we, it's a little fuzzy, like it's a little wavy. You know when you're like in love with someone and you don't realize all of those uh, until like you break up with them? Ask someone close to you that's really blunt to point out those things for you so you can start working on them. Because if you're not looking for a solution, you will never find it. For example, make sure you don't hit my car. Work it, work it, baby, work it. Let's pretend we're in New York up in here. <laughs> Doing the Macarena. Drop it, drop it low, girl. Drop, drop. Oh, then we get some ass action. That's what I'm saying. Oh, there she goes. Work, work. <laughs> Say ain't no better than this chick right here.